Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today from the Everyday Counts program space. Uh, this is a completely supported, relaxing practice and you can modify it any way you need to. You could even do this practice in bed. So let's begin. What you'll notice is I've got two thick bed pillows. These could be couch cushions. These could be whatever you have. And then I've got two blankets and these could be any size blankets. Um, you can get more, you can get less. You'll notice I'm wearing a hat because it's a little chilly in here. I've got socks on. So lots of layers, comfortable, stretchy clothing. <sighs> so we will begin by making ourselves very comfortable. We're um, exploring a lot of openness before stretch here. And especially if you do feel a bit of tightness through the chest and shoulders today, I'm gonna offer a slight variation to our first relaxed pose to start beginning to open through the chest. Um, and shoulders. So as usual, um, it might be nice to have a pillow or two under your knees. And then I thought maybe using one of these blankets as a pillow for under your head or the second pillow, but then taking the other blanket and sort of unfolding it a little bit and placing it just before that blanket so that we can have the tiniest elevation to the back of our shoulder blades and upper back. So we'll just play with how that feels. If it feels like too much, we can always remove it. So you'll notice I'm gonna roll onto my side just so I can easily get those legs over the pillows and then kind of find my way here with these blankets. And so we'll feel that slight elevation to the shoulders and chest and depending on what's happening through the breast tissue, you can always bring the arms out to the sides and allow for that extra sense of opening. You can notice if your legs feel comfortable here. We're elevating the legs and bending the knees, partly so we can let the low back soften and settle. So if you need to tuck that tailbone under, you know, take the legs a little wider or even remove the pillows. Please adjust as need be. Yeah, so adjusting those arms. Even placing the hands behind the head if that feels like a relaxation pose for you. Closing your eyes, breathing through your nose if you can. As you close your eyes, you tend to notice if there's still some discomfort in your posture. So feel free to continue to wiggle around and adjust. As we quiet the body, you might notice more sensations. Can we allow, can we make space for sensations to simply be? You know, what I call the body's thoughts. And just like the mind's thoughts, we don't have to hold on or create a story. We can kind of move from thought to thought, from sensation to sensation. as our body continues to settle and find comfort. And beginning to invite the breath to deepen and soften. That deepening might be simply softening your belly to allow the belly to expand with the in-breath. And softening the belly still to allow that out breath to roll out. And soft, deep in breath. And softer, slower out breath. to sense the breath 
energy. Moving through your abdomen. Sensing all of the space in your abdomen. Sensing the breath energy, whatever that means to you. Moving through your lower body. Sensing all of the space in your lower body. Sensing the breath energy, whatever that means. Moving through your upper body. Sensing all of the space in your upper body. Sensing the breath energy moving through your head, whatever that means to you. Feeling the breath energy moving through your head. Sensing all of the space in your head. Sensing the breath energy moving through your heart. Sensing all of the space in your heart. Continuing to sense all of the space within the body mind and heart. So we will be returning again and again to all of this space within body, mind, and heart. But in the meantime, if it feels right for you, perhaps bringing a hand to rest to your belly and a hand to rest on your chest. Feeling the weight and the warmth of your own giving hand. And make an offering to yourself, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Oh, 
when you feel ready, you can release those hands. If you want to stay right where you are, please feel free. If you'd like to explore a little bit of movement before the next pose, you can join me by bending your knees, maybe drawing those knees into the belly. Or maybe there's a little rock from side to side. And then maybe we can roll ourselves all the way over to one side and gently push into the floor to come upright. Yeah. So before we move into our next shape, we will invite a little bit of movement. So you could cross your legs or bring the legs out in front or even kneel. I'm gonna move a little bit into the side body. So I'm bringing my hands to my sides just to help me sit upright. And you could be sitting up on a cushion if you needed to. I'm just gonna play a little bit with um, some arm reaching. So I'm bringing a hand to a shoulder. And as I lean into the other hand, maybe I reach up through the elbow. And if this feels okay, maybe we reach up through the arm. You can let your head hang if you want. I'll bring the hand back to the shoulder and then the elbow down. And we'll try the other side. As I lean into that hand, I could bring hand to the shoulder. You could reach the elbow up. You could reach the arm up. Hand to the shoulder, elbow down, back to center. So as I bring the hand down, maybe I reach a little further. Lean into it, I've already got that nice lean happening. Hand to the shoulder, reaching up. Maybe the arm reaches. Back down. As I reach for the floor, a little further away, hand to the shoulder, reaching. Hand to the arm. Hand to the shoulder, and back down. And now we'll just invite a little bit of fluid movement here. And again, if the knees need to be bent, sit cross-legged, feel free. So we're gonna lean into one hand and reach. It's as little or as much as you want, lean into the other hand and reach. And a few more times. Again, we don't need to reach the arm all the way. Those hips could stay on the mat or you could be shifting from hip to hip. This doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. And maybe once more either side, I'm feeling that reach of the arm, feeling that openness, that space in the side body. Great. Yeah. Now let's lean into those hands both together. Let's take the feet wide and we'll rock the knees a few times. Listening to the body's thoughts, just being in that place of open curiosity. Okay, so we'll prepare for this next pose. This will be a supported side bend, and this is how I recommend you set it up. It might be different for everyone. So I'm stacking my folded blankets here near the end of my mat, and then I'm going to stack my pillows like so. And what you'll see is they're stacked widthwise and I've got this little valley here. The valley is gonna be for my shoulder and arm. So as I lean into these pillows, I'm gonna bend my knees so that the, my legs are going down the other end of the mat. And again, I'm gonna lean into these pillows so I can bring the side of my body down and then bring that shoulder into that little valley created between the blanket and the pillows. I'm gonna bring those blankets in a little closer and then notice what I need here. So it might be too much pillow underneath, especially if that bottom hip is elevated, you could place a blanket under that bottom hip. If that shoulder isn't quite making it to the bottom of the valley, that also might mean there's too much pillow. 
Um, and if the head feels like it wants to actually be a little further down, that's okay. You also might feel like you want a blanket or a pillow between the knees. Uh, so, hopefully you've found a fairly comfortable place to be. You can always keep adjusting. Yeah. Your knees don't need to be perfectly stacked. You can always have one leg longer. Uh, but we are looking for the hips to feel fairly stacked, one on top of the other, and the shoulders. We haven't come forward too much or back too much. The shoulders are stacked. Okay, so I'm going to trust you to keep making adjustments as need be. So again, you could bring your hand to your shoulder like I've done here, and then maybe reach the arm up to the ceiling and just see if we can find a little balanced place where the arm sort of drops into the shoulder joint and maybe at the same time we could reach up to the ceiling a bit to see if we could find an easy bit of shifting of that arm circling of that arm and maybe not this is merely a suggestion maybe changing the direction here we're really being soft in the shoulder letting the arm kind of hang out there yeah and this might help us to find out where this arm wants to be. So then we can kind of go through a few different positions here. Um, so there is kind of a deeper place here. If we can stay in a place of openness before stretch, we could rest the arm overhead. For most of us, that's gonna be a little too stretchy, but you could spend a few minutes here if it just feels like openness. So that's a great place to be. Another option is to bring the arm along the body or even tuck it behind. For some folks, that's a lovely place. Or even rest it in front on those pillows. Yeah. So hopefully you found a place that feels okay for you. The idea is that we've invited a lovely side bend here, a gentle opening to the side ribs and to the side waist. Yeah. Once you're comfortable, perhaps close your eyes. You feel the weight of your body fully supported, continuing to make adjustments for your comfort. Reconnecting to that soft, deep in-breath, softer, slower out-breath. But now, instead of feeling expansion through the abdomen, the front of the abdomen, we're going to invite expansion into the side, waist, and rib cage. So begin to focus on that top side of the body. Can we invite the breath there? With the exhale, a sinking and softening. Inhale, we can almost feel those intercostal muscles, those muscles that run between the rib cage expanding, receiving this gentle stretch. As you close your eyes, as you Tune into the frequency of the breath. Let's tune in so fully that we begin to notice the moment when the inhale turns back into an exhale. And as the exhale turns back into the inhale. As we rest here for another minute or two, can we focus on the transition of the breath from inhale to exhale and from exhale to inhale? Can 
Can we notice the pause between the breaths? It doesn't have to be a long pause, it's just that transition. Inhale to exhale. Exhale to inhale. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. Continuing to follow the breath, tuning in. Notice as the inhale turns to exhale. The exhale turns to inhale. Let's offer five or six more breaths just like that. As you complete those breaths, please know you are welcome to stay here for as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to slowly move, you might start with that top arm. You could bring the top hand to press into those pillows under you. As you gently press into them, you can bring yourself upright. Yeah. So if there's a little bit of movement you need to do in between sides, please feel free. I'm going to slowly shift um, all of these props to the other side, but you could simply turn yourself around and move into it on the other side. So I'm shifting the pillows and the blanket. And just like before, we can lean into those pillows to get those legs to the other end of the mat. And then slowly drape your side body over the pillow so you can bring your shoulder into that little valley. And then build up that blanket support under your head so you do feel the support of your head, even as you might give opportunity for the side of the neck to open. And then using that second blanket under the bottom hip between the legs, or again, more support under the head. And noticing if your hips are still stacked, your shoulders are stacked, and that those breast tissues are comfortable. Yeah. So you might have different needs on this side and you will find, find out what they are. You might reach that top arm up again. Again, letting the weight of the arm kind of rest into the shoulder as you kind of circle through the shoulder just a little bit. Noticing how it feels to be really soft through the shoulder, finding a way for the arm to balance and move with very little effort. And then maybe exploring different arm positions. That, that overhead one might move us into stretch, but if we're in a place of openness before stretch, this is a lovely way to lengthen that side body. But there's lots of other great options. So you could tuck the arm behind. You could rest it along your body or in front or even something else entirely, you know, coming down. Uh, closing, closing your eyes here. 
And that sometimes helps you notice if there's still some discomfort here in the pose. You can experiment and adjust if your comfort matters most. And again, tuning into the frequency of your breath. Finding that soft, deep in breath. And softer, slower out breath. And knowing that we need to invite the breath to expand into the side ribs, into the side waist. And with that exhale, there can be an invitation to soften through that side body. And a soft, deep in breath. A softer, slower out breath. And sometimes Our mind will wander away from the breath, but this is normal. As we rest here for a couple more minutes, let's tune in so fully to the breath that we notice that moment when the inhale turns into an exhale, when the exhale turns back into an inhale. Paying attention to the journey of the breath, the changing directions. And paying attention to the breath so closely that you notice when the breath changes direction. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. And noticing when the breath changes direction.
Now, as you complete those breaths, if you feel a deep need to stay where you are, please feel free. If you are ready to move, you might float that arm up again. Just notice how it feels to be here. And then perhaps bring that hand to gently push into the pillows in front of you to help guide you upright. And we'll move our props out of the way. And we'll invite a little bit of movement. Really familiar movement if you've done any yoga with me over the weeks and months or years. Yeah, so we're going to lean into the hands and we're going to take the feet wide. And of course, you can skip the movement part if you want to. And rock the knees from side to side. And then we are going to add a little twist because our next poses will be supported twists. And so as the knees fall to the right, let's lean into the right hand. We'll sweep the left arm around and we'll sweep it behind the chest as it's comfortable. And then slowly come back. And let's bring the knees back, press into that hand, sweep the other arm around. And let's do that once more in either direction. And moving slowly. Great. And we'll meet back here at center. So the next set of poses also uses our stacked pillows. Um, and these blankets might be used for under the bottom hip because we're again going to be leaned into one side or between the legs or over the body. So you'll notice the difference here um, in this pose. I've got my pillows lengthwise as opposed to widthwise. I'm going to lean into them just like I did before to bring my legs to the other end of the mat. Again, they don't need to be perfectly stacked. They can be long. And if you know you're someone who likes to have a little support between the knees, there it is. Yeah. From here, I'm going to turn towards the pillow and bring hand, my hands to either side of the pillows and slowly lower myself down onto them, turning my head to face the same direction as my knees. So there's a few things we might need to do to adjust here. One is we might need to adjust breast tissue, and if there's too much pressure on one breast, um, you could even you know, build up one side if one shoulder needs to be a little higher so that there's less pressure on that breast, um, or even be more on one side of the pillow or the other. So that's gonna totally depend on you. Um, even if you find as you lower down and you do need to be propped up a bit to one side to lessen any breast tissue discomfort, you could bring a pillow or a blanket underneath a forearm if it's hovering. In our restorative, we like to play with the idea of building the ground up to support us. Yeah, and the hips don't need to be perfectly stacked here. Um, we're just letting the legs be as comfortable as possible in any position that allows for that. Okay, so keep making those adjustments to your comfort. Notice as you close your eyes, you might be guided to a few other tiny adjustments. And now we have a gentle twist moving up the spine. And so you might feel a bit of compression to the belly. You can also pull the pillows further away from the belly if the belly needs more space here. You can tune into that breath. Allowing the body to become still, to be held. And that soft, deep in breath, softer, slower out breath, becoming a gentle kind of background frequency, this relaxation breath frequency. Your 
eyes are closed. Now let's begin to listen. Not to our thoughts, but to the space between our thoughts. And this is the space of awareness where we can allow all that is happening to simply happen. All we are experiencing to be experienced without commentary. This space of awareness is like a vast blue sky. Thoughts are merely clouds floating by. You dwell in the space of awareness, the space between the thoughts between the clouds. Let's rest here in this space of awareness for a couple more minutes. And as thoughts float by, just imagine them as clouds and Reconnect with the vastness of that blue sky, that vast space of awareness. saying if your mind has wandered can you come back to the space between the thoughts that vast blue sky awareness Listening for the space between your thoughts.
let's offer four or five more breaths here, tuning into that breath frequency. Soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. And if you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move into this pose on the other side, maybe there's a wiggle to the fingers and toes. And then maybe walking your hands under your shoulders to help push the mat away and bring you upright. So moving into this pose on the other side might be as simple as turning yourself around. I'm going to move the props to the other end of the mat. Moving nice and slow here. Knowing that you might have different needs on this side, so it's okay to take it slow and figure out how to be comfortable here. So as I lean into my pillows, I'm bringing my legs to the other side. And then bringing hands to either side of the pillow, I'm lowering myself down, belly and chest. Turning to face the same direction as my legs. And first, really assessing breast tissue, because that is often what brings discomfort here. So you could use extra support under one shoulder. You could adjust where the chest lands on the pillow. You could move it further away if you need space for the belly. And as I've mentioned before, if one forearm is quite elevated here, or both, you could bring them onto blankets, or you could remove one of those pillows. We want to build the ground up to support the whole body. And usually once we close our eyes, we realize that we could be maybe even more comfortable. So keep adjusting. Your comfort matters most of all in this practice. So once you have come to stillness, again, tune into that breath frequency, that relaxation breath pattern that naturally happens. We simply invite it. We invite the soft, deep in breath, and the softer, slower out breath. And drop into this relaxation breath pattern. And as we continue to settle and find comfort and ease. And then we begin to listen, not for our thoughts, but the space between our thoughts. And this is the space of awareness where we can allow all we are experiencing to be experienced without commentary. As if we are like the vast blue sky. Our awareness is like the vast blue sky 
when thoughts are merely clouds floating by. And drop into that vast blue sky of awareness. Thoughts will arise. Clouds happen. But remember, you are the space between the thoughts. You can dwell in the space of awareness. If your mind wanders, that's okay. Come back to that blue sky of awareness, that space between the clouds, between the thoughts. Even as that gentle relaxation breath frequency carries on in the background, Soft, deep in breath. Soft or slower out breath. All in the space of awareness for another minute or so. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Dwelling in that blue sky awareness. The space between the thoughts. As you complete those breaths, please know that if you want to stay right where you are, you're welcome to do so as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to transition to our final pose, slowly walk your hands under your shoulders and push the mat away to come up right. So it is time for our final pose and this will be a lot like the first pose. So we could have the pillows under our knees. 
one or two. Um, just like before, we could have a folded blanket um, under our upper back as well as a little bigger one under our head. That could be a pillow as well. Yeah. Taking it nice and slow as you make yourself comfortable. And if you prefer not to have that extra support under the chest, you're welcome to, uh, to remove it. I'm going nice and slow here so we can set things up to fit. Again, there could be this opportunity for just the slightest sense of openness to the chest. Yeah. Or maybe the legs go a little wider. Maybe we experiment with an arm position that just gives us a little extra sense of openness. It might be as simple as turning the palms up and bringing the arms away from the body. But of course, hands to the belly can be nice and grounding and lovely too. Or the solar plexus or the chest. And so closing your eyes and again, making any of those last adjustments for your comfort, for your warmth, for your ease. We'll tune in to that relaxation breath pattern. Soft and deep inhale. And softer, slower exhale. Sensing the breath energy moving through your abdomen. Sensing all of the space within your abdomen. Sensing the breath energy moving through your lower body. Sensing all the space within your lower body. Sensing the breath energy moving through your upper body. Sensing all of the space in your upper body. Sensing the breath energy moving through your head. Sensing all of the space in your head. Sensing the breath energy moving through your heart. Sensing all of the space in your heart.
for the next couple of minutes, continuing to sense all of the space within body, mind, and heart. You are welcome to stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If it suits you, you might bring a hand to rest on the belly and one to the chest. And once more, offering yourself a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation. So this is where I will leave you when you are ready to move. Move slowly and gently. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.